topic of the questioner. What's the purpose of it? How do you use it? And from a teacher perspective, what's the purpose of using it in the classroom? Or from a student perspective, why do I need it? Let's talk about it. So first and foremost, what's the purpose of a questioner? Obviously, yeah, it's to answer questions, to earn whatever you need to in the game. But as a student, you know, why do I need to add questioners into it? It's quite easy just to make any GimKit creative map without even thinking about using a questioner. And, and that's very fair. That's a very good point. You might never need to use that. But a lot of the questions or um, interests that I've had from my students are, hey, can we use our game? Can we use our map in class? Can we have the whole class play it and test it out? And obviously, yeah, the answer is 100% yes. But my follow-up question is, you have a questioner. Are they able to answer questions? Is there a learning component that they can do all the while playing your game and if the answer is no and that's their next step in creating and designing their map is to always make sure that there's a learning element to their map so that's the whole purpose of today's video of how to add that learning element to your map and it's super simple to do all right the two main things i'm going to introduce to you that you can immediately while watching this video include and add into your own maps is how to add an overlay feature like you see on my screen as well where it says get energy you click on it and automatically you're going right to the questions. The second thing that I'm gonna show you is how can you make essentially any prop in the game your new questioner? Uh, you might ask the question, you know, if we already have that device that we see to the right here, why do I need to add something else in? Uh, if you're trying to make a really aesthetically new environment for your map, the questioner kind of is a sore thumb. It's out of place, if you will, uh, and so, what you can do is you can make any prop the questioner and just hide the questioner out of sight. That way, if you're making a space map, the questioner is not there, but rather that command center that you see. So let's show you how to do those two things. All right. The first device that you're going to need for this build is perhaps the most obvious, but it is a questioner. The next device that we're going to use is a game overlay. And the third and final device that we're going to use is a button. Now for the prop that you want to replace your questioner with, well, it's completely up to you. For this example, I'm just going to use a command table. All right, first and foremost, let's set up our questioner. So if you click on the questioner itself, it's going to have the featured tab. That's pretty much where you're going to do a majority of your work. Uh, it's going to ask you to paste the link of the kit that you want players to answer the questions to. Uh, I grabbed one from my own library of questions for some of my flight and space and robotics classes and also just fifth and sixth grade mathematics. So I pasted that in there and honestly, we can click out of it at that point. All right, the next thing we wanna do is we wanna make that new prop, the command center, our in-game questioner. So if we want to walk up to it, we can answer a question just by simply clicking on that area. So what we're going to do first and foremost is actually um, change the sizing of our button. Now, uh, we don't have to change the actual size of the button, but more so the area of effect that it can reach. What this blue circle tells us is how far away or what area do you need to get into to actually click and use it as an actual button or for our questioner. All right, next up, I'm gonna add a wire that's gonna go from the button all the way to the questioner. And so when it asks the question, hey, when I press this button, I want it to open the question answering screen. All right, one final modification that we're gonna make for this button, when you click on it again, it's gonna to go to the interaction duration how long do you want to wait in order for the button press to take you into the questions? Uh, you can load it if you want to like click and hold like you would selling something in Fishtopia or for me, I'll make it instant. That way when I click on the button, it takes me right to the questioner screen. All right, next up is that we're going to move over our command table on top of the button. So now we don't see our button, but it's still gonna serve the same purpose. Hi, future me. It looked like I had to make a slight modification to the size. So if you're looking at the sizing of the button, I increased the size of it as well as the blue sphere itself. But this allows us to get into that region and actually click on the button to make it function in game. Also make sure when you're clicking on the button itself, we're not gonna have it be visible in the game. That way we only see the command center with this. So now when we test it out ourselves, we can head to the command center, we can click on interact and lo and behold, we can start answering 
questions. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our wire and we're actually going to connect it to our questioner as well. So now when the button is pressed, we can open the answering question screen. And so if we're going to click on or click on our um, game overlay, okay, it's going to say what type of overlay do you want? Do you want it to be text, button, or tracked item? We're going to have this be a button. We're going to have the location be bottom left. And then our text itself is going to be get energy. For me, make the button's name the most obvious thing for students uh, or for anyone playing the game. They are like, well, how do I get energy? Make it the title of it. There should be no confusion from that point forward. So we'll make this our title. Um, yes, have it be visible from the start. You're going to notice the bottom left of the screen says get energy. You click on it and there you go. That's how you have an overlay button for answering questions. All right, there you have it. That's how you use the questioner in GimKit Creative. If you have any questions for me or want me to make a video on something different in GimKit Creative, let me know in the comments section below. Take care.